you grab up! Mathis, I'm gonna tell you about Mathis. Last time I told you about similes. They're when you have two things and you compare one to the other. Metaphors are a bit like that, but more flexible. Like that lad I shoved into the boot of my car last week. Know what I mean? So, metaphors. You got something and you make someone imagine it by comparing it to something else which is similar, but you're not stuck with the like or the as as, like in a simile. So you can be a bit more imaginative with it. Let's think about this. I'm going to give you a simile first. The girl's tears were like a river down her face after I sorted matters out. That tells me that it's not really a river. It's like it. Water flows, tears flow. Well, it's a bit like a river. Fair enough. When I used to use it as a metaphor though, it gives it a different sense. The girl's tears were a river flowing down her face after I saw it matters out. Now that feels a little different, doesn't it? I'm saying it was a river. Obviously it isn't. Rivers are wide. Faces are narrow. Especially when I've finished with them. But it just gives us this extra emphasis. Makes it sound a bit more extreme. Makes us think about it a bit more. So that's one way to use metaphors. Like I said, they can be nice for me, can you imagine something? Just how upset was that girl? But you can use it in a different way as well. Let me tell you a story. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Gary's a kid in school, right? His geography teacher. She's a bit strict. Yeah, yeah. And she has set him on work and he's not done it. He's trying to avoid her. But she's solid and she's gonna get him. You know what I mean? She is angry. So, the geography teacher, let's call her Mrs. A, stalks him. And when she's ready, she pounces. Nah, that metaphor's strong. What stalks and what pounces? Cats, when they're hunting little birdies and mice, and they pounce on them. <laughs> so, did she really stalk the boy? Nah, but she looked for him, looked for him hard until she found him. Did she pounce on him? Let's hope not. But it gives us a sense of just how frightening Mrs. A is when she's after someone. She gets them, and she strikes. Just to make metaphors clear to you, if you were to use the same sentence with names changed, it could stop being a metaphor. For example, someone did something last week which I did not like. Naughty, naughty. So, I stalked them, and when I was ready, I pounced. That sentence is not a metaphor. Think about that and stop getting metaphors wrong. Stop getting metaphors wrong.